Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now, in the previous video, I have discussed the topic simple microscope. Okay, if you have missed that topic, I will give the link to that video in the description box. Now, in the simple microscope, the magnification is not much. We are using a single lens, a single convex lens and the magnification is less than 9. That is the usual uh, magnifying lens. Now, suppose if you want to have a magnification much greater than that or if you want to observe much smaller objects, then simple microscope is of no use. Then we need to use a compound microscope. Now in compound microscope, we are using two lenses each compounding the effect of the other. Now let us try to understand the compounding effect of the two lenses in a compound microscope. Now this is the object placed near the objective. Okay. Now for this object, this is the image. Okay. Now this is the image formed by the objective. Now this image will act as object for the eyepiece. Okay. Now the position of this image is such that it is near the pole and the focus of the eyepiece okay so it is near the focal plane of the eyepiece and the final image by the eyepiece it is virtual and magnified okay so this is the final image formed by the eyepiece so this is the compounding action of the microscope objective as the name objective that means this lens is near the object and eyepiece eyepiece so as the name suggests it is near the eye so the image final image will be observed through the eyepiece and the object will be observed through the objective okay so this is the structure of the compound microscope now so we have two convex lens placed coaxially these two lenses are placed coaxially and they are th their position can be moved like this so these two lenses will be moving inside the cylinder okay the objective this is the objective so the lens near the object is called objective it has short focal length and short aperture okay focal length is short aperture is also short the eyepiece has short focal length but it has a large aperture okay so this is the structure of a compound microscope next see how it magnifies the image so first let us calculate the magnification that is produced by the objective magnification by objective okay so uh, magnification it is it is a ratio of size of the image so objective see this is the object and for this object of height h the image is formed at this particular position so this is the size of the object is h the size of the image is h dash so the magnification produced by this objective it is it is h dash by h okay now see if this angle is beta in this triangle so this height is equal to h so i can write tan beta in from this triangle i can write tan beta is equal to perpendicular by base but what is this distance this is f naught so tan beta is equal to h by f naught okay but this tan beta it is also equal to in this triangle if you see tan beta is also equal to h dash by l okay so this is also equal to h dash by l now what is this l see l is the distance between the first principal focus of the objective and the second principal focus of So now see what is this L for this objective this is the first focus and this is the second focus for the eyepiece this is the first focus and this side you will have the second focus so this L is the distance between the second focus of the objective and the first principal focus of the eyepiece so this distance is L okay so tan beta is equal to h by f naught and that is equal to h dash by L. Now from this I can write h dash by h is equal to f naught by l. Okay, so this becomes f naught by l. So the magnification of the objective or magnification produced by the objective it is f naught by l. Okay, next let us see the magnification by 
the eyepiece. Now, using the result we have obtained in a simple microscope, we can write the magnification produced by eyepiece for two conditions. One is when image at distance of distinct vision and one is when image at infinity. Now, when image is at distance of distinct vision, in that case, Me is equal to 1 plus D by Fe. D is the distance of distinct vision, Fe is the focal length of the eyepiece. When image is at infinity, magnification produced by the eyepiece, it is equal to D by Fe. So, we have this magnification of the eyepiece under two conditions. One is when image is at distance of distinct vision D and one is when image is at infinity. So, the total magnification produced by the two lenses when image is at D. So, image is at D. See, magnification produced by objective is L by F naught. Magnification uh, produced by eyepiece when image is at D, it is 1 plus D by Fe. So, final magnification it is equal to, see, MO into ME, product of the two magnification. So, that is M is equal to L by FO, 1 plus D by Fe. This is when image is at D. And when image is at infinity, magnification by eyepiece is D by, D by Fe. Magnification by eyepiece is D by Fe. So, this is M is equal to L by F naught into D by Fe. So, these are the two results for the two magnification when image is at D. D means distance of distinct vision, least distance of distinct vision and when image is at infinity. So, one more thing we need to observe is that see this L. Uh, it is written that uh, it is the distance between the second focus of the objective and the first focus of the eyepiece. Now, it is also called the length of the tube, okay, because see this, these two lenses are movable, okay. So, L is also called length of the tube. So, now when image is at distance of distinct vision, when image is at D, this L is equal to V naught plus Fe, because uh, this, uh, see V naught is the See, this is the image formed by the objective. So, this is V0 and Fe is the distance of the eyepiece from this point. Okay. So, this distance is L. Okay. Second condition when image is at infinity. When image is at infinity, this Fe can be replaced by Ue. So, in that case, this L will be equal to V0 plus Ue. That is object distance for the eyepiece. This image will act as an object for the eyepiece. Okay. So, these are the two things additionally you need to know for solving numericals. So, I hope this topic of compound microscope is clear to you through this video. Good luck.